Hello everybody, it's Jean from One Day at a Time Farmstead. Today's recipe is going to be made with bow tie pasta and some chilantani. <laughs> Little corkscrew noodles. So, stay tuned to see what we're doing. Right now we're getting our water hot. Get ready to boil and drop our noodles in. We put a little bit of salt and a little bit of vegetable oil just to kind of help them keep from sticking while they're cooking. So, welcome to Noodle November 2023. We're going to be boiling both of the noodles and getting them done first off before we do anything else. Alright, we have our noodles in each one. Um, right around 11-12 minutes, they should be al dente. Alright guys, we're going to be making a fried bow tie pasta. So, our first thing we're going to put in our bowl is an Italian-style breadcrumb. I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of Slap Your Mama or the Tony's Creole Seasoning. Either or. Which is the Slap Your Mama. We're going to be adding two tablespoons of the Weber's Garlic and Parmesan Seasoning. Which is this here get it from Sam's. The breadcrumbs was uh, about 12-13 ounces. I'm just going to mix all that up. I use the same thing that I fry with because everything can go through and you can mix it good and evenly. And that's the only thing that I add to my breadcrumb mixture is the slap your mama or the Tony's and the Parmesan garlic um, Weber seasoning or garlic parmesan. For our egg wash, we're going to be using two eggs. Added a cup of milk, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of the Slap Your Mama. And you want to whisk everything together for your egg wash. Now, while that is sitting, because we've already made up our breadcrumbs, we've already made up our egg wash, the second part is going to be the dessert part. <laughs> All we're going to need here is some sugar and cinnamon and just mix it up real well. Depending on how much um, you know you want to make for your family, eyeball what you need. Did she say dessert? Yes she did. So we are going to be making dessert our little chelentani noodles. You can use any noodles you want for this really, but these are twisty noodles like little corkscrews, so they work really well for this dessert. All right, for the other portion of the dessert, we're going to make another egg wash. I have two eggs and a cup of milk and about a tablespoon of cinnamon again. And we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk all that together real good. And just set on the side. Now we're just going to rinse our noodles off real good and uh, with cool, cool water. And that way it'll help it cool down quick. They will need to be cooled down and completely drained off before we get to the next step. You're going to be doing the same thing with the Celentani. You're going to rinse it real well with cool, cool, cold water um, till the noodles are cool to the touch and drain them completely. Now on the bow tie pasta, you are going to throw in your mixture of egg wash that you made up. And then you're just going to mix it around, get everything good and mixed up in there and just leave them in there for a minute. Make sure everything's good and coated. With the Chelincani, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add your egg wash mixture to it. Make sure you rinse your spatula real good because you don't want seasoning in here like Tony. So you're just going to mix up that entire mixture together and you're going to set that on the side for now. 
All right, guys, so I washed out the pots that I had because these are heavy bottom pots, which I love to fry in these. So I washed these out and I put uh, vegetable oil in here. Honestly, the best thing to fry in is either peanut oil or lard. But I do not have either right now, so we're going to stick with the vegetable oil. All right, back to our bow tie pasta. We already have this in the egg wash. We have our breadcrumbs here. We're going to do the dredging stations, dredge it through, and fry it. So you definitely want to preheat your oil. I just drop a few of the noodles into the breadcrumbs. Just kind of stir them around. And then I just shake it out. And that's it. Now in another bowl, I have all-purpose flour. I'm not adding anything to it. I am just stirring it around. I'm just trying to use my other little sifter to get any kind of bumps or whatever, make it a little softer and easier to deal with. You want to put so much on a plate on the side if you're going to be doing this at the same time. Get your fryer grease going leave these sit here for a minute while you're battering up your chelancani same thing we got these in our egg wash we're just going to transfer them over to the flour you just want to try to drain off the excess and mix that all up all right now you have these noodles good and battered and you're ready to start dropping in your oil. We're going to start dropping one by one. Well, that's not quite hot enough yet. We'll let that one do its little test, and then once that's hot, we'll pull it out, and then we'll go back to frying and dipping it out. You want to have two plates set up with uh, either dry wax paper or paper towels uh, to get the excess grease off. You do not want to mess with them too much while they're frying because you'll knock the batter off of them and then you'll have nothing but batter in the bottom of your pan, skillet, whatever, and then it smokes and you don't get to use it like you want to. You have to get rid of it real quick. So try to get in the habit of not messing with fried food a whole lot while you're frying it. We're trying to achieve a nice darker golden brown on both of these because we want them to wind up being crunchy not chewy this is the perfect color we want to go ahead and drain them off and take them out now while these are still hot you want to sprinkle some parmesan cheese yes you can use the kind out of the little jar that's dry you can use that if you want and then I'm going to use a little bit of the Tony's on top. And just for looks, <laughs> we're going to add some parsley flakes just to pretty it up a little. Same thing with the chili tiny. We want to pull it out when it's golden. Now, what you want to do with that is sprinkle your sugar and cinnamon mixture over it while it's good and hot. After it's cooled, I just kind of push them off to the side a little bit to get ready for the next batch. Now you can, right before you know you're about to pull it out, you can go ahead and stir it around if it doesn't look like it's cooking evenly, but most of the time while the stuff is floating around, it's going to get itself coated pretty good if you have your oil deep enough. So separate it. Put your little Tonys. You do not have to put any of that if you don't want. Put your Parmesan cheese. I like the fresh. That's not fresh. It was already pre-grated, but <laughs> fresher than the other little stuff in the canisters. And your parsley. Now for plating. You just put it on there. I usually sprinkle a little more cheese, parsley. This is a marinara sauce, which pairs really well with this. It also pairs very well with spinach dip. 
did not make spinach dip. This is store-bought spinach dip from Walmart. Um, I make a spinach dip, but this video wasn't about the spinach dip. It was about the fried bow tie pasta. So that's why we just chose a quick fix. Now I showed y'all sprinkling the stuff over the top a while ago for, these are kind of like churros <laughs> or a cinnamon twist. Um, but I like personally to put it in the bowl and coat it real well with the uh, sugar and the cinnamon while it's good and hot. Tastes better, sticks better to it. Now in the past, I have made a, um, like a pasta pudding with these and Dallas was like, Mima, you could really make some cinnamon twist with this. And I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. So just use what you have at your house, guys. It's easy. Any kind of pasta, sugar and cinnamon, cook it in your cooking oil and that's it. It's a, a great way to get something kind of light and easy dessert wise that's not real hard to fix that satisfies that sweet craving. The key to good seafood fried or pretty much anything fried is that you got a good coat of batter one there and when you pull it out it's firm to the touch unless you like it not crispy then you don't have to make it firm to the touch but in order to get a good firm um, crust or texture on the outside let it get good and golden pull one up test it with your finger see if it's good and crunchy feeling and then that's it if it is you're done if not drop it back down for a few seconds <laughs> Dallas is fixing to do the taste as he's he acts so crazy this is with the marinara sauce is it crunchy can you hear it crunch is it good <laughs> yeah all right what about the spinach dip i know that's not your all-time favorite but give it a try very good i'm gonna give you a second and then we're gonna try the um faux churro again what is the spinach dip <laughs> try your um little cinnamon twist or churros Okay, Goober. <laughs> Y'all can hear the crunch. It's almost like a little chip, so. Do you approve, Dallas? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Very good. So, kid approved. He's about to be 15. <laughs>